join me there. Today I'm going to do another squishy makeover for you guys. It's going to be a piece of cake. I hope you guys enjoy it. Take a look. Why did I point? <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the squishy that I'm going to be painting today. As I said before, it's a cake. Um, it's not a very pretty cake. It's got holes in the back there. Um, I don't really like the colour of this cake. I mean, I don't know. Has anyone ever seen a yellow cake with pink on it? I'm not entirely sure. The toppings look quite nice. But again, the icing is the same colour as the cake, which is a bit strange to me. I'm not sure what you guys think, but this cake definitely needs a makeover. It's quite squishy. Let's see what we can do to make this a whole lot better. First things first, we have to make sure that we trim the edges up to make sure there's a really smooth surface. Now because this is a cake, I'm not too worried if the seams are still prominent, but I just want to make sure it looks tidy at the bottom. And on to the next step, it's sanding time. So I've just got my sanding block. And I'm just going to sand down the squishy. Now it's really important to sand down your squishies because it makes sure that the squishy has a nice rough edge for you to work on. Otherwise the paint doesn't always stick and it does like to peel off. So if you're ever doing this at home, make sure that you do sand your squishies down. Okay, I've got my paintbrush at the ready and I'm just going to give this cake a general white base coat. Now this is because the cake itself is a very bright yellow and I want to make sure that we've got a nice white base coat at the bottom because I'm going to go over the top of it in pastel colours. Now if I put pastel colours over yellow and pink and red I'm not sure how that would come out so I'm just making sure that I've got a nice white base coat. So when I put the lighter colours on a bit later, they'll really stand out and it will look a lot better. The white paint that I used was fairly thin, so it needed a lot of coats to make sure that it was all covered. And now I'm going to turn my attention to the base of the cake, make sure that's all covered in white, so that we can start all fresh and I can start on the pastel colours on the cake. All of this talk of cake is making me really hungry, but I don't think I have any cake. <laughs> now to do this I've just mixed a general colour with white paint and I made it into pastel colours. I'm going for a rainbow theme today. I hope you guys like the rainbow theme. I just wanted to make sure that the cake looked very different to the original design. To do this I'm just using a dotting tool. I'm getting a nice line of paint all the way down the squishy and I'm going back in with a thinner brush just to make sure that all of the lines are as straight as they can be. I know this isn't perfect, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm really enjoying the rainbow design. This was a very slow process. Trying to create straight lines on a squishy is very difficult work. That's another reason why I like to use these techniques and using the dotting tool and a thinner brush, just to make it easier for me to draw these lines. I haven't used any pastel colours in my previous squishy videos, so it's really interesting to see how it will turn out in the end. I just want to point out that the texture on the squishy before I painted it was actually really clever. Those pink bits were slightly textured, but we are covering all of that texture over by putting a thick layer of paint on. I don't mind getting rid of the texture too much, because putting a thick layer of paint on does actually create some texture. And I like the way the colours look all together. And now that one side's done, I have to turn my attention to the other side. So as you can see here, there's a little line at the top that indicates where all of the colours are. So I'm going to use that as a guide and continue to paint the squishy in my rainbow colours. Now I'm starting from the bottom of the rainbow this time. And again, I'm just going in with my dotting tool to make sure there's enough paint on this line and going back in with a thinner brush just to make sure that it's all clean and tidy and neat. Doing this does take a lot of time because I like to make sure that my lines are very precise and straight and that's because I don't want the colours to blend together. I wanted it as though each colour was a separate piece of cake 
all piled up in one cake. And I really preferred this design over the original design. To make this easier for yourself at home, it would be better to mark out which colours you're going to use and where, to make sure that all of the lines will be even when you paint them on. I think overall it's looking a lot better already, and I'm definitely going to keep these colours that I mixed for another day, and I might even use them later on. And now that my rainbow cake has finished on the sides, it's time to turn my attention to the bottom of the cake. Now I'm just going to use the last colour I used, that was the purple, and I'm just going to make it the base of the cake. So it carries on with my theme that each individual colour is a new layer of cake. And there we have the base of the squishy all finished. Okay, I'm going to turn my attention to the top again. I've actually made a new colour here. I wanted it to be slightly off-white. So I mixed a little bit of red into my white paint and it made a really, really pale pink that I'm using for the icing on top of the cake and on the back and the sides. The reason that I did this was because when I paint the whipped cream toppings on the top, I wanted them to be pure white and I wanted them to be slightly different to the colour of the icing. Again, I'm just gonna go in with my dotting tool to make sure that the lines are fairly straight and I might even use my thinner brush just to iron out those lines a little bit there and make sure that they're all straight and even to make sure that my cake will look so yummy even though we're not eating it. And now I can turn my attention to the toppings. Now as I said before, I want to make sure that those cream toppings are going to be completely white. So I'm going in with my dotting tool again just to make sure that the paint fully covers those little cream toppings. And it's definitely a slightly different colour to the off-white icing I made. This took me quite a long time to do because it was really hard to get into those tiny little places and make it all look neat and tidy. Now I'm finished with the whipped cream on the top and the icing on top of the cake, I'm turning my attention to the strawberry. Now I absolutely want to keep this a strawberry but I'm just going to do it up a little bit and make it a little bit more of a nicer strawberry colour. I'm just going to go in around the edges and make sure that they're all neat and tidy and so it does look like there's an actual strawberry on top of the cake. And after I've done that I'm just going to go back in with those other colours so it gets rid of any mistakes I might have made. And I'm going to turn my focus onto the bottom of the cake. Now this was a little bit tricky because I wanted to make sure that my icing was consistent. So it goes all the way down the back of the cake and that includes on the bottom. And now that's finished I can just go back in and touch up all of those little rainbow cakes that I've made. Just making sure that I'm covering any bits I might have missed or straightening up those lines if they weren't completely right and I just want to make sure that it's all perfect. So I did want to give it two coats just to make sure that it was all covered. And there we have it. That's my cake almost finished. But to top it off I definitely want to add glitter. You know how much I like glitter. Yay! So I'm just going in over those whipped cream toppings with a white glitter. And I'm going over the strawberry with a red glitter. Now I didn't want it to be too obvious on my cake because cakes are not really supposed to have glitter on but it doesn't matter. And now it's time for sprinkles. Now I really wanted to add something a little bit extra to this cake seeing as it was so boring before and I'm just going to add some organized sprinkles on there and I'm using all of the colors that I used in the cake all of the rainbow colours. Now I have to make sure there's some sprinkles on top of the strawberry too. This was a really fun process because I've never actually had to paint sprinkles on a squishy before. And now it's all finished. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out today. It makes a big change from the original squishy. The colours are more natural and I'm really happy with the rainbow theme. It squishes a lot better than it did earlier. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye little penguins.